Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. I'm on the road for kind of an unusual purpose for me. I needed some ear corn. Why ear corn, you ask? Well, it's not to feed squirrels or chipmunks. I'm trying to get rid of the chipmunks. What I wanted to do is, I've sold the corn sheller. Okay, why do I need shelled corn? Well, the guy said, does it work? I said, sure it does. I know, I've, I've taken it to fairs and tractor shows all over lower Michigan. And kids love running corn through it. But I was living in Union City, and Union City had a whole lot of farmers around there, and I'd lived there 20 years, and I knew them. So I went to him and I said, hey, you got any ear corn? Yeah, you can go out and either strip some ears from the field, or you can have some of this left over from last year. Everybody uses uh, combines. Combines don't pick ear corn. Combines pick shell and separate the cobs from the corn. So there's just ear corn is vanishing. Now the Amish have ear corn, I imagine. But I can't find any Amish and try getting one on the phone sometime. Anyways, I came to Blaine's today because they have a 20 pound bag. Of cob corn. Perfect for squirrels and critters. Uh, so when the guy comes Saturday to pick up the corn sheller. I can show him, yeah, it does work. I got 20 pounds of corn to run through it. I probably won't because I'm working on another sheller, you know. And I might want to sell that one. And since corn on the cob is hard to find, I'm probably going to keep some. I have to put it in something so the mice don't get to it, though. Anyways, that's what I've been doing today is driving around the city of Kalamazoo, going to places that said they had it. Petco said they had it online. And I went to the store and they said, well, truck hasn't arrived. Thanks, Joe. Wonderful. I live in a, in a state that has more frickin' corn growing than anything else. Thanks, Debbie Stabenow, because you're supporting the corn industry. Yeah, okay. Making me buy gasoline with alcohol in it that you use all the frickin' corn to make. So, anyways, be that as it may. I got some, and when the guy gets here, I'll be able to show him that the corn sheller does indeed work. So, if you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. And if you're looking for cob corn, they still got a few bags left in Blaine's. When that's gone, I don't know that there's going to be any more till fall. See ya. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.